Hi guys, it's really good to see you today. Uh, thank you very much for all of your positive feedback as well from the last vlog. Um, I'll try and keep this one as short as I can as well, maybe tr try and keep it under five minutes. Um, just because I value your time, you know, and you don't want to hear me waffling and everything. I know vlogs are mainly meant for waffling, but you know. So um, yeah, today's topic is a, a topic that comes up a lot. A lot of you have got like lots of free libraries, you know, you've gone to Spitfire, you've got you've got all the lab stuff, you know, you've used it to death. Um, you've gone to Orchestral Tools because they're doing a very similar thing. Um, and ADO, they do some great stuff as well. You know, you can go around the houses, you know, I think, um, you know, even with synths, there's Vital, which has come out. That's a free version now. And they've been really, really gracious, I think, and just said, hey, have the synth. And if you want any of the presets, if you don't like making up your own stuff, then you can buy them afterwards. Um, so there's lots of things out there, aren't there, that we can get. Um, but, but this is for um, the people who... You know, you're thinking, okay, where do I go for my first number one orchestral library um, to, to supplement what you've already got in your free stuff? Because it's good stuff. It's not it's not rubbish. You know, they have they have they've not just turned around and said, all right, let's let's get six samples and just throw them out there and say it's the best. Because, you know, these these guys are clever. They're, they're designed to get you to to buy more of their products. Okay, so so these are of good standards. You can definitely make high quality stuff that would you know be picked up by a music library just from that free stuff. But after a while, you're going to get a little bit bored because, or you're going to get a bit frustrated, bored, frustrated, aggravated. You know, one of these things is going to you know is going to push your buttons because you've got to do much more work to get them all to sit down and sit down. <laughs> to sit well together so um yeah you might be thinking okay right so where do i go do i go to spitfire they've got some really good stuff do i go to orchestral tools they're expensive um you know and what, what I'm, I'm here today is to do is to help you decide okay well what's the best of everything and i think there's two contenders I don't think there's more than that. Some people might say there's more than that. Um, but, you know, I think I've, I've probably got about, probably about 25, 30 libraries at the moment. So, I'm, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got a lot of libraries. Um, I'm probably at the stage now where I realise that it's just colour. You know, you, you get a new library, not because, you know, it does something different, but because it just, it adds a different flavour. Yeah, so you're not at that point yet. You're thinking, okay, right, I just want to dip my toes in, find something that's going to um, tick all my boxes. <clears throat> the first one that comes up is Albion 1. Um, Albion 1 is great. It's really epic and bombastic, you know, and, and whatnot. It, you know, there's things that it doesn't do very well. So um, let's start with the things it does well. So it does strings really well. Really lovely pad strings. They're almost like synth strings, really. And the same with the woodwinds. That You know, they're very synthy in a way. And especially if you start to layer them, then, then they can get quite synthy. Um, the low brass is just gorgeous. Um, and the high brass is a little bit, a little bit weedy. But you know, you can't win them all. Okay, so uh, the, another great thing as well is its synth engine that it comes with. That's very good. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say to go with this one though because the brass aren't that strong, and it it takes a lot to get everything to sit well together. I think um, what what Spitfire have done is they've made it so that everything sounds great, and it really does. But you need a lot of mixing experience, I've found, at least, you know, personally for the stuff that I've made with it um, to get everything just just to marry really well. You know, um, and it's, it just takes a lot of experience to do that. And um, so I think, you know, for something that you, you're just going to sound good out of the box, that is it. But maybe what you need is something that's not only going to sound pretty good out of the box, but um, is going to work well together as well. Yeah, to stop you from having to do so much work that it just becomes a chore. And I think that is that's the balance that we that we often um, we have with with orchestral libraries and just as composers as well, because our our time, regardless of whether you are a beginner 
or you are intermediate and you're working, you know, or, or an expert, your time is really, really valuable because you're, you're either, you know, your deadline is either the evenings that you can spare from your family or the deadlines that somebody has set for you. That's the end of the project. Yeah. And those two things are really, really important, really, really important. So, um, those two libraries that I think that you should go for, yeah, pushing Albion to the side, um, are probably um, still the first, number one. I would say um, the one that I've had most experience with is uh, Spitfire BBC SO Core. Um, so you know you can get the free one. I think it's forty nine pounds if you want to get it straight away. Um, I'm not going to dwell on this because there's so many things out there, but everything just sounds good. It, it does, you know, even the brass. I'm I'm an advocate, actually, for saying that I'm not a huge fan of the, the sound of the brass stuff from Spitfire. Everything else, I absolutely love. I really, really do, especially the strings, the flautando stuff. Mwah, well done, Christian Henson. You're, you're, you're a babe. Thank you so much for just bringing such a wonderful um, patch, you know, that you've that you've spread over lots of different libraries. Which is included as well, you know, there's Flat Tando in the BBC, BBC SO, I think. So, um, yeah, you know, you've got tons of presets in the core, you know, there's, there's a couple of, um, of things that you don't get. You don't get mic, a lot of mic positions. I think there's like something stupid, like 16, 30, something like that in the pro. Um, I'm saying not to go for the pro now because what I find with, with that library is that it's just huge. You need a really strong computer to go um, to use this uh, pro version. And it's just, you know, it just takes up a lot of CPU, a lot of storage as well. And, um, you know, and, and, and if you're starting out, you're probably not there yet. I'm not there yet. You know, I'm, I'm actually waiting <laughs> very patiently, I might add, for a, a, a very powerful um, Mac to come out, which I'm hoping will happen in September. It's another story for another time. Um, but yeah, the Pro, that's what you're going to struggle with. Whereas the Core, yeah, it takes up still a, a chunky um, amount of amount of storage, but actually it doesn't take a huge amount to uh, to really, you know, get it to to work with your computer. It's not you're not going to be limited to too many tracks. Yeah, so that's a big plus, big win. And the downside to this is that you don't get many synth stuff. I don't think you get any synth stuff. <laughs> so, you know, that that's something that maybe you might want to look into, you know, maybe getting Vital if, if that's free. Um, Serum is like you can get it on like a uh, rent to buy scheme, I think, from Spice. So that's, that's really good. Uh, I would actually say on hindsight that if you've got Vital, you don't really need, you don't really need Serum even though Serum is much easier to use. So that's my number one. Uh, number two, two is um, uh, Nucleus. So uh, Audio Imperia, I think when that first came out, I listened to it and went, that's really good. It had some holes in it, you know, that it wasn't, wasn't the best, I think. But Nucleus Lite, you're not going to get many articulations with it. So maybe this is a really entry thing to get because it's Spitfire is about 400. Yeah, I think it's 400 quid for the core. Um, you know, and, and I think you can get Nucleus for about hundred pound or something like that, you know, or I think it's hundred dollars or something like that. So it's really, really accessible. Um, and you can get, you know, the full version for like two or 300 pounds, I think it was, or dollars, something like that. And then, yeah, it, the one thing it doesn't have is solo instruments, but they've just brought out a solo library, which is called Solo. So, you know, it's great. You know, it's really, really good that they're, they're taking initiative and they're, um, you know, that they've, they've brought out two libraries that, you know, you, you could pair together. Yeah. Cause I think you, on an intro price, you can get the, um, the solo for, I think it's like 200 pounds as well. So say you get about that between three and 400 pounds for those two libraries and it's comparable then, isn't it, to uh, to the BBC SO core. Which one do I think actually sounds better? Ooh, I think actually they sound about the same. 
Yeah, so they've both got different strengths. I think the Nucleus would be is really, really good for more modern uh, sounding stuff. And the BBC SO is a little bit more classical in sound. I can see where, you know, a lot of people say that as well. And I can see where they're coming from. It's not quite a classical sound, uh, but it is one of those things I think that you think you've got to go, okay, you know, there are elements of this that actually lend itself to a more... Uh, neoclassical sound so the typical sound that we've been used to um, within the past 50 60 years of film music yeah, and that goes for um, all of the Albions as well you know they, they go for very lush sound um, whereas Nucleus and and the solo library it's very in your face it's very uh, it's, it's a very strong sound uh, so so I would say actually you know regardless of which one you get then, um, you know, maybe your second library could be the other one, yeah? So, uh, you know, if it was me, I'd probably go for the BBC SO Core first uh, because there's no patches with BBC SO, which forces you then to go and, um, and to, to really work on your part writing because you're not, you're not playing in chords, yeah? And that's really, really important, I think, for orchestral writing, is to think about your part writing, thinking how things are moving. Are they moving together? Or have you got big leaps and whatnot? Um, you know, because, because you don't necessarily know that when, you, when you're playing chords. Um, I think Albion's really good for chords, though, so if that's the way you want to go down it, um, then have a look at that, by all means. Um, but it, you'll find there's much of the same stuff in Albion one as there are in some of your free stuff so it wouldn't be as much of it as a, as a leap and at the moment uh, i would say uh, if you're at this point where you're looking for this first library you're going to be looking for something that doesn't only sound good that doesn't only work well together but also for a third point is that um that it stretches you musically as well yeah so um that is exactly what BBCSO core does better than uh, Nucleus. So I would say that's the, a really good first library, actually, to go and buy. Um, Nucleus just is another flavour, I think, that um, that I'll be looking into buying the solo one soon. Because I haven't actually got the solo one. Uh, I, know, I know a few people who have very, very kindly uh, done some personal walkthroughs with me and it sounds incredible and their work sounds good and I've said it's near enough no work because it just sounds great because they're, they're working um, with like um, like very long marcata, which is a swell. It's like, whoa, kind of thing. And then it swells out. But then they kind of loop it. I'll make a whole video on, on sampling at some point. Um, but yeah, so those are my recommendations for the things that I would say, the things, the libraries that I, I think that you should go and have a look at. Um, there, are, there are many others, you know, the, the, that you can, you can definitely go and have a look at. If you think I'm wrong, then please drop down um, your suggestions as well down, down, down there. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm very open to, to it and, and we can have a good chat because at the end of the day, you know, nobody is, is you know, a, a, um, an expert at this. And I've been waffling on for 13 minutes, 46 seconds so far. So <laughs> I'm going to say that uh, this is the time to stop this because I was going to do a five minute one and I cannot show up, can I? So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. And we will see you in the next vlog, which will be vlog number three. Excellent. OK, see you later, guys.